Did you know that bees are the reason that one third of the food we eat exists? That's right, one out of every three bites of your food depends on pollination to create it. Many major crops that people and animals rely on need pollinators. But sadly, bee populations are suffering due to habitat destruction, poor agricultural practices, disease, and harmful pesticides. To help these important little insects out, there are several things we can do to support them. 1. Eliminate chemicals The first step to help support our bee friends is to avoid using pesticides and herbicides on our lawns. Some pesticide alternatives to use which are not harmful to bees are pepper, onion, and garlic sprays, kaolin clay, a spray mixture of 2% castile soap and water, and diluted essential oils like eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, and rosemary. Some other natural yard maintainers are neem for aphids and fungal disease, a sprinkling of Epsom salt or a saucer of beer for snails and slugs, vinegar spray to scorch weeds on a sunny day, and pest repelling flowers like marigolds and chrysanthemums. 2. Provide food. Another way to help the bees is to incorporate flowering plants they love into your landscape. They need the nectar to feed themselves and their baby bees. Do some research to figure out different plants to have around at different times so your yard will be full of flowers from spring to fall. Herbs will benefit both you and the bees. Some flowering herbs to plant are marjoram, chives, catmint, thyme, mint, rosemary, and lavender. Bees seem to be most attracted to purple, blue, and yellow hued flowers. So adding in some sunflowers, asters, borage, coreospis, Black-Eyed Susans, Larkspur, Verbenia, and Agapanthus will keep them happy. Bees also get a great deal of nectar from blooming trees. Fruit and citrus trees in bloom are bee magnets. Maple trees, willows, linden, and acacia also provide high pollen and nectar levels. In addition to supplying nectar, trees provide material for bees to make their nest. Having a few trees in your yard will also give you the benefit of shade in the summer months. 3. Provide habitats. Providing a cozy habitat can help the bees. Although we think of bees as living in a hive and working together, most bees are solitary. These bees make their homes in little tree nooks and stems or under the ground. Bee hotels and bee boxes are little homes with tubes that are bee sized. They make a unique addition to your yard or garden. Bee boxes provide a safe, quiet habitat for solitary bees, like mason bees, to live and raise their young. 4. Provide water. Bees get thirsty just like us. To provide a water source that bees won't drown in, put fresh water in a shallow dish or bird bath and place various stones inside so they are sticking up above the water surface. The bees can safely walk on the stones and have a drink. This pit stop is a nice spot to refresh during a long day of nectar gathering. 5. Educate others Although most of us can't restore ecological agriculture or outlaw harmful pesticides and herbicides, we can implement simple changes in our own backyards to help save the bees. There are more than 20,000 species of bees in the world and their numbers are declining. Some are even in danger of extinction. Their existence is linked to ours. We depend on each other to live healthy lives. Educating others on the significance of declining bee populations and the impact it has on our food supply may provoke others into having a more bee-friendly yard too. Fun Bee Facts It takes one honeybee its whole life to make a tablespoon of honey. A queen honeybee needs a diet of royal jelly to be fertile. Honeybees will die if they use their stinger, but bumblebees will not. Less than 5% of all bee varieties make honey. Mason bees are some of the first bees to appear in the spring and are better pollinators than honeybees. Honeybees have their own form of heating and air conditioning to keep their hive a consistent temperature. Bees can fly up to 12 miles per hour. If they can get in undetected, honeybees have been known to steal honey from other hives. These amazing little insects are so important to all life on Earth. Enacting a few simple changes in our own landscapes can help make their lives a little better and hopefully contribute to their survival for many years to come. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.